I'd seen, of course, reports in the media that Mr. Anabi uh, is uh, would be dead. So far, uh, we cannot confirm that information. Uh, we can confirm that Mr. Anabi was in the building at the time of the earthquake. We can confirm that he's highly likely under the rumbles, uh, in the rubbles, but we cannot confirm for the time being his death. Uh, however, as you know, the, S, the SG has decided to send immediately, and it will be this evening, Mr. Edmond Mullet as the acting head of the mission, the acting SRG, and Mr. Mullet will take his duty tomorrow morning in Haiti. As we all know also, you all know that we have now 3,000 troops and police and, and civilians still operating in Port-au-Prince. In they are securing the airport, patrolling in the city, securing the port, assessing the damage to the port, and both that, of course, they are uh, digging the rebels in the main headquarter, uh, the Christopher Hotel, the main headquarter of the minister. I will say that there is also an increasing need of water and uh, rations. The mission is starting to, to distribute some water and they are sharing some of their rations with the local populations. So far, we have 14 fatalities. Um, the situation on the ground is it's very difficult. Um, the engineers are working hard, but they do not have the expertise on managing this type of destruction, nor the specific tools to handle it. So they are moving with a lot of caution to ensure that they don't produce more damage to the building than what already has happened. And that is one of the reasons why the thing is moving is slower than what we would like to, to, to happen. Some concerns were raised and there were adjustments made to the building, particularly the entrance of the building. There were some concerns regarding fire exits and all of that, and some strengthening of the structure which was done.